There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. A red moon rises. Hello, town of. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, let's put it, fruitless. <laughs> so the alliance oh, this is creepy. There's something else somewhere I missed. Uh, the box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Can we Those get it? Fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. Hello. No, okay, it's not going to stop. I mean, technically we are aliens, yeah. Okay. There's a lot going on here that we don't know. But that, like I said, so this demo throws us in later in the game. So it doesn't spoil the early part of the game. But I'm already very, very intrigued by this. Oh, not again. Uh-oh. It's got a good atmosphere, hasn't it? I like it. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock. Revealing what lies beneath the surface. What lies beneath? Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. <sighs> Roots are exposed as well. Mm -hmm. They're not embedded in any rock, but Ooh. in a tissue like alloy. <sighs> yeah, that's one way of putting it. So bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. She's breathing very Perhaps heavy. You should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Is this going to be her? Can you please check for me, Asta? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor. No, okay. Oh, God. Then I'll use the detector. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Oh, underground connections. Everything matches. Oh. There's metal all around. Metal is all around me. Connection with the whole system. And so the metal grows. So the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's looks like two generations one old dead a relic second these bushes grew in the remains of the former generation hmm. hang on are you saying that this new generation is alive and the old one used to be alive we can't rule it out it's possible you say that as a biologist i haven't heard you mention cells membranes organs or green bodies which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Yeah. Well, we're used to calling all life protonations. Don't forget, evolution is a thing, dude. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes. Yeah. Are you abandoning your profession? All you have learned, discovered, researched so, so far. we can't go off here. I'm just opening up to the unknown. So, uh, I guess we got to go back. <laughs> Shit! I can't handle it anymore. Oh, is she about to pass out? Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, crap. What's going on? Follow the arc. Where is it? I don't know where I'm going. disappeared you must have broken its loop i didn't oh, what never mind we'll try to locate it the where's it gone way, get out of there now is this uh, the is this I the hole we were originally in it hasn't gone far is it about to get wrecked by the anti-mag thing
Oh boy. Something's about to kick off, isn't it? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. Oh. The robot. No, no, the anti Run! Move, Yasna. Fuck. No. You will kill me. Yasna? Are you alive? Yes. You destroyed the robot. Oh. What are you doing now? Oh no. Probe won't come this time. Yes, sir. Stay calm. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got... No. Don't die on me now. Begging you. Don't give up. You can't. You can't. I failed you. Sorry. Wait, what? So fucking sorry. It didn't... It's all my fault. You hear me? All mine. It was my decision. I decided to accept this mission. I brought us here. Goddamn planet. What? Yasna, you're alive. Why didn't it? If you could reject it, why didn't you? Why didn't it kill? After a series of successful missions, are you safe now? Safe enough. What? Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree yes, we can't crouch and go through there. No. That's how it ought to end. Well. What? Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine you another tunnel there. Asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make mm. decisions like that and live with the consequences. There's a, a significant level of intrigue here. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. More slides? So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I, I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. So it's still to enemies and what we none. Can do to aid them. So it was only eliminating the crew. Interesting. For now you can forget about Interesting. the research material. Well, why just the, the crew? Were they infected the by something perhaps? Eight. Considering all the factors. Hmm. I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. I'm well, guessing we're going through here now. Spoke about the probe. Should be a time to find that probe. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Actually, it's right in front of me. Okay. Oof. Wait, what's this? Can we go down? No. All right. Ha. Oh. I'd li I'm liking the atmosphere. Oh, there's just a dead guy in there. No biggie. Uh, vehicle data recorder. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? <laughs> so, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. Oh. We arrived. Okay. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the yep. extraction okay, let's site. Yep, okay, let's skip. Base, come in. Dr. Bozo wants go. to talk with you. Tesla here. Go for it, nerd in. We have a sort of discovery. Oh. I'm listening. Here we go. Day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. 
Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Oh. They stimulate each other. Groups, the easier, more freely. Oh. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow there we go. Doctor. Hence the 9999. Nine, nine. Rather flies. Which one is it? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Bulge. Black is cold in direct oh light. Shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Interesting. Is my oh, shit. There? Navigators on What's that? Right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon uh, as he's available. Oh, that doesn't look good. Have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, mm. capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Hmm. Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields. And that's what's happening to her. To human brain. Usually it concerns the long term effects. Ah. Months and so what's years of then? unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. Ah. That's how. Merit. Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. So we're going the human this organism way. continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless. Vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand mm. the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over. Okay, can't get they won't, they won't remember everything. Even language. Uh. The past. Our voyages together. Doesn't it look like we can go in Let's anywhere, does it. it? This new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. Mm. We're theorizing for now. Whoa, there's some sort of... Confirm at least. Dome. Got it, Astrogator. What? Can you see that? for those containers of flies. What? What is going on? Is it some sort of oxygen bubble? We can't get in there. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering. Okay. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. How do we get in? It certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Mm. Then you are looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots. The Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters... Can yeah, you can see them. The yeah, you can see a mound. Ah. Got it. There's a mound. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. Oof. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. 
They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know. I have no idea how long this game is, so by the way. Far, it will be. That the build has this isn't the beginning. Dissipated. They said yet. this was later on. So I don't know. Yeah. Where we are at the start. But, okay. Well, we can't get in there. So which way do we go? Find the containers with the flies. Uh. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Okay. Can you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I think Just I can see the way. Take notes. Feels like it's going to be important to document everything you see. Doesn't it? Oh, another body. I'm just waiting for the jump scares. I'm, I, I, I don't think that it's this, it's that kind of game, but I honestly don't know. I knew nothing about this coming into it. It's quite nice to play a demo when you know nothing. I think I'd watch people. I'd like watching people play, but not playing myself. <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, oh, it's getting dark. Do I have a torch? Apparently not. With the lack of musical sounds, I'm waiting for a jump scare. Mm-hmm. When you don't know what kind of game it is. Yeah. Uh, this demo is available on, on Steam right now, by the way. As are all the demos I, I play today and yesterday. The, um... Astrogator, I found their probe. Hello? Looks like it hid from the flies. Thanks, just Raylan. ended up here by pure luck. Uh, hopefully the first set of demos from yesterday will be going up on YouTube from tonight. Okay. Probe. Oh! Fuck. Bria summoned the goat. No scare here, just a goat. Oh, you Mother f <sighs> Thank you for the one pound, Bray. Oh, God damn it. Come here, little proby. Little proby? Oh, that didn't work. Fun funny, that. Scared of you, too? I'd yeah, I'm buying pee break just happened as well. Is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Where are you going, Proby? Get under the force field. Yep, we're doing that. Are we under? I got inside the field. Okay. Do we're in. Copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. Well, that's good to know. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the whole transport. Oh. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. Uh, okay. You, leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energo bot, turning off the force field, yep. then transporter, departure. Okay. Got it. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Yep. So, how do we turn this bad boy off? Is the probe still with you? Yes. Yep, it's here. Aha, here we are. Where are we going? I need to... Ah, I need to turn my mouse. Mm. I don't know what that's the done. The field is no longer a problem. Okay. That's... Disabled. Is that Perfect. is that a good idea? I feel like that may have been a mistake. Where's the probe gone? The probe's gone. That can't be good. That, that doesn't seem good. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave, though, 
Please check that the cargo is intact. I feel like that's not a good idea. This is where things are going to go sideways. sure about that i hope will this really help our people astrogator mm. it will i'm sure i'm so, scared what? off we go yes sir what are you wondering about i feel like we should leave him behind mistake. maybe i shouldn't take the flies off regis yeah maybe it's better to leave them alone here where they belong what are you I just worry that we might spread this threat and the tragedy of one planet becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention all humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit overdramatic. Oh. We can handle some mechanical flies. How can you know? And you sound like a fool, sir. How can you be Bring so something sure? back to Earth that you don't really understand. Just a moment ago. Seems like a great idea. I've only just begun to understand what's going on. But you already know how to handle it. I recognise yeah, this voice. I, I recognise we'll her voice. Everything thoroughly. Now we need to focus on getting you out of there. Can we at least agree on that? Yes. First, though, I'd like to check the cargo. Very well. Just hurry up. Uh, check what? How do I check the cargo? Ah, there we go. This this can't be this can't be a good idea. Ah. Uh. Oh god. There's nothing there, but weren't they microscopic? So you wouldn't see them. Oh. Oh, shit. There they are. I must admit. They look amazing. Wait, what are they doing? Gasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Um. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black holes have been destroyed. What? Oh shit. What? Close the uh. uh If you were wondering, sir, how large a group of these flies could be. And I can tell you. Oh my god. Yes, yes, I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> wow. Why didn't she close the door? Okay, I definitely want to play that. That was a really interesting demo. It gave you enough intrigue without giving away the game so uh, i am very very interested in that um i don't know if anyone knows the uh the release date but yeah that was the invincible Whew.